Hey, everybody. Sorry about that. It was, uh, for whatever reason, it was not... Not outputting to here, and then it wasn't outputting to you guys, but it was outputting to here. I don't know. I fixed it. All right. Super chill stream today. I'm going to work through the story of Wargroove. It's, uh... It's a strategy game. It's pretty heavily inspired by Advance Wars, which was one of my favorite series on the Game Boy and the Nintendo DS. Um, the series kind of just died off, but this is the spiritual successor. It's more fantasy rather than the sort of sci-fi sci-fi situation that they decided to do with Advance Wars. So I... Do not remember most of how to play this. It has been a while. So even though I have this whole situation set up, we're going to start from the very beginning and then get back up to wherever I was. I just, I never played through the full single player campaign. One rainy night at Cherry Stone Castle. This weather is giving me spooks. Did you hear that? Cut it out. It's just thunder. But I'm uh, going to patrol the throne room. Hey, wait for me! Oh. <laughs> Cowards, jumping at shadows and dropping their guard. Alright, turn one. You're mm -hmm. the bat lady. Getting to the king shouldn't be much of a challenge. <laughs> there he is, alone in his chambers. How convenient! The fewer guards I dispatch, the quicker this will be. But some unfortunate wretches still stand in my way. I'll start by defeating that one over there. Attack. Take him out. Are you afraid? Poor Merciful. <laughs> he was in the way. <sighs> it's time. Time my daughter learned the truth. But how do I tell her? I'll make my way towards the king's chambers. Wait. Mercia, a long time ago, before Cherry Stone was Cherry Stone. No. This is laughably easy. Take him out. This is tiresome. Yeah. <laughs> That's tutorials for you. Boy, you didn't really didn't put your uh your best guys in the way of the the best path in. There was once a Hold on. Checking my audio levels. Yeah. There was once a kingdom called Cacophony, and a war known as Great Dissonance. Hmm. I love exposition. Wait. This knowledge is too great a burden. No mercy. Hmm. This castle is vast. If I access the overview screen, I can get a glimpse of its true extent. Just need to select an unoccupied title and pick overview. Overview. Yep. That, that's it. This screen provides me with objectives and statistics. Hmph. <laughs> so many humans. How unpleasant. Still, I can avoid most of them. As my objective says I'm here for the king, I can close this now and return to my task. Time to defeat a mu few more hapless guards and make my way to the king's chamber. Attack! Are you afraid? Goodbye. My little bluebird. I'll start slowly, my darling bluebird. I need to tell you something. Sigrid is very technically minded. 
I also like how she float in the cutscenes, but then she takes Steppy when she's moving along the map. It's a very long story about something that happened a very long time ago. Oh man. I feel so bad that, uh, we're gonna miss out on that story. Uh, are you afraid? Goodbye. Oof. A very long time ago, indeed. Why can't the past stay the past? Around the bearskin rug. <laughs> At last. You, how did you? What? Sigrid. Sigrid? <laughs> Wacken. Humans are so frail. Do you understand what you've just done? You'll start a war! <sighs> war? The inane squabble of children. Where is the key? Safe. You'll hands. never have it. The key is in safe hands, far from the grasp of a monster like you. <laughs> safe hands? Before you die, understand this. Nothing is safe from Listen. me. You're making a mistake. Hush now. Oof, ow. He's dead. <laughs> Still, the key eludes me. No matter. It's close, I can feel it. Oh no, he's dead. Victory! Nice. S rank. Yes! Well done, princess. Your skill with the cherry blade improves yet further. Thank you. Oof. I don't need to talk for him. It's all right, Caesar. It's just one of the royal guard. Lord Emmerich. Hmm? Is this important? You disturb the princess's lessons. The king, my lord. The king has been killed. What? what? No. Did, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Mercy, I'm so sorry. Who did this? So do you say it appears to be a bit of a v vampire? The Felheim Legion? Princess Mercy, the murder of your father is an act of war. We must defend the kingdom. War. We're at war. Waterball makes noise sometimes. All right. There we go, chapter two. Several months later. My queen. Congratulations on your coronation, Queen Mercia. Emmerich, do you really think I'm ready to be a queen? I have no doubt. You are your father's daughter. I hope you're right. <laughs> your Majesty, Felharm scouts have breached the border. They're here in Cherry Stone. Let's go. I can do this. <laughs> I know you can. Oh, the crown, you dropped that. Wait, your majesty, your crown! Oh my god. Oh god hold on. Sorry. Delgado is just a crap piece of equipment. Which, I mean, I've gone off about it enough already on these streams, but it sucks. It's not good. These skeletal warriors are Felheim troops. We must defeat them all to secure this region. We should begin by attacking the closest dread swords with our unit of swordsmen. Right, let's get this over and done with. Do do do. Grab him, put him there. You attack that guy. Bam. No. My guys. Notice the numbers that have appeared next to the two battling units. Yeah. yeah, there's a little number next to each of them. I don't know why I made her in New York all of a sudden. These represent the unit itself. They appear where it drops below 95%. So number five indicates that the dreadsword is down at around 50% health. 
and my swordsman is down to about 80% health. Got it. Well. Then let's attack the Dreadsword with our second swordsman. Attack. My queen, may I interject for just a moment? When selecting a target, a damage preview will appear above its head. The damage preview indicates what damage will be dealt by both units during combat. Sounds handy. You see, the health of a unit suggests more than how close it is to defeat. The more damage a unit takes, the weaker its attack power becomes. So, a healthy unit is a stronger unit? Indeed, but it looks like your swordsman will do just fine here. Mmm, got him. What? More undead? Seems like they're not giving up quite yet. Mm. <laughs> Friendly reinforcements have arrived. Just in the nick of time. Look, it seems that we've been provided with a new, new, new unit type, Bikeman. This might be a good time for you to learn about critical uh. hits. Critical hits. Yes. All units have conditions under which their attacks are stronger. We call these attacks critical hits. I've never heard of those. Do not worry, my queen. This information is easy to find. Let me show you how to find information about a unit's crit. There it is. This is the tile info screen. Here we can find useful information about our selected unit. This part gives us a good overview of the unit. Hmm, the pick pikeman crits when adjacent to another pikeman. You can bring up this info screen on any unit, terrain, or structure. Use it often and you'll learn fast. Alright, I'll make sure to check it often. When you're ready, you can close this window. So, yeah, effective against swordsmen. Hmm. Okay. Yep, yep. Very well. We should make sure that the pikemen stick together. Got it. Wait. We've lined up our first pikemen. Let's attack the dreadsword with our second pikemen. Let me draw your attention to the damage preview once more. Oh, the arrow is flashing. Well spotted, a flashing arrow in the damage preview is a good sign. It indicates that you're about to land a critical hit. <laughs> Thanks to the placement of the first pikeman, the second pikeman dealt a critical hit. She learns fast. Ha ha ha. Keeping your pikemen together will ensure a stronger offense. When encountering a new unit type, it's important to learn about their crit. I'll leave you to defeat the rest of these Felheim troops. Thank you, Emmerich. I couldn't do this without you. Oh my gosh. The Elgato does not like this game. Hold on, I'm gonna reset it one more time. Let's see if that helps. Okay. I think that did it. So what are their crit? When adjacent to its commander. Hmm. Nothing, eh? Nothing that I can do. Effective. Wow, and they're just vulnerable. Man, they just... Uh, not so good. And we'll just finish them off. Nice. No. My guys. 
My dudes. That's fine. Just gonna move these guys. Wait. Move these guys. <coughs> Finish them off. That's the last of them. Well done, my queen. <laughs> we did it. Mm, a good start, but Felhard won't stop there. We must remain vigilant. <laughs> They'll be back? Yes. And in greater numbers. Uh, a whole horde of skeletons. Indeed, and much else besides. I'd forgotten you had so little experience with the undead. <sighs> Cherry Stone is normally so peaceful. I've never seen them here before. But now they're coming, and they won't stop. An undead army. All undead but one. We've spoken in your lessons of their leader, Valdair. A living man, and... Yeah. And a necromancer of great power. I haven't forgotten. Well, we should make a move. The undead are likely to be advancing upon other parts of the kingdom. Uh... Emmerich, do you think Valdair will come to Cherrystone himself? Yes. Your Majesty, I do. <laughs> Your Majesty, why? Hmm. Victory, I did it. All right, next up. No, oh, they running. No. The kingdom's overrun with Felheim's soldiers. We have to do something. We will hold what land we can. Hmm. Maybe if we. Oh, there she is, my favorite. Not so fast! Huh? Who are you? <laughs> I'm the person who's going to smash bash and pulverize you! Call me Ragnar! Y y yeah, you can do that! Uh. Um, alright. Fight me! Okay. Let's do it. No! No, my house! I guess it's their house now. Did you see that? The Velheim hordes just captured a village to the west. They'll attempt to claim the neutral village to the east. Next, unless we stop them. Then let's stop them. Yes. Luckily, a cherry stone ranger is here to help us. Rangers are units that can attack enemies from a distance. Let's move it into a position from where it can attack any approaching undead. Sounds good. Bam. Bam. From this position, our ranger can attack any enemies approaching from the west. Well. When you want to end your turn, select an unoccupied map tile and then select end turn. I don't, I want to use... I want to buy a guy. No, I don't have any gold. Jason to another guy, uh, commander, and stationary. And they're kind of effective against everybody, but also for vulnerable. Okay, let's end the turn. Are you remembering to check the unit info screen to learn about critical hits? Yeah. Good, then you'll know that rangers crit if they attack without moving. We'll attack the dread sword without moving the ranger now. Now we need to select the fucking yes. Yep. Okay. Attack. Got him. Yeah. We did it. We may have defeated those soldiers, but it's not over yet. The enemy owns a barracks. This will enable them to recruit new units. Fortunately, we have access to a barracks of our own. We should select it to recruit a new unit at once. 
Okay, I'm on it. This barracks lets you recruit three. Th yeah, I get it. They cost different mounts. <laughs> These tutorials are a little obnoxious. Yep, one per turn. Got it. No. He's going. Select our new sword. Yes, go get the village. Got it. What the, this is one small change from Advance Wars. On a, in Advance Wars, you had to be on top to capture it. In this, um, you just need to be next to it. <laughs> Excellent work, my queen. Villagers bring in 100 gold every turn, so they're incredibly important to the war effort. Right, because more gold means we can recruit more units. Correct. In fact, we can mm, the enemy's income by taking their village to the west. Yes. To capture a village that is owned by a different faction, we must first defeat it. Mm. Then I'll recruit more units straight away and order them towards that village. You can you can stay there. Some units are more effective than others at defeating structures such as villages. I advise you to rely on the pikeman's powerful crit for this job. All right, I'll recruit pikemen and send them toward the enemy village. So I'll need to do two pikemen. Uh, nope, not enough range. In turn. Duh! Skeletons, more! <laughs> enemy reinforcements to the north. They'll no doubt be heading towards your northern villages. I should have known they wouldn't make this easy for us. Mm -hmm. I suggest you don't leave the northern path unattended. I'll make sure to leave a unit to protect the northern villages. Okay. Uh, let's... Wait. And we'll get another pikeman. Um, yes, which I'm pretty sure he's going to get it. Yeah, he's within range, so he's going to get attacked. Um, scoot this guy up top to deal with them. No, the thing I exactly expected to happen. My guys. I'm okay. Turn five. Ah, I can't hit him quite yet. Just slightly out of range. Hmm. Well, he'll hit me for a great deal more, so... I'll just wait and protect the village. Uh, can I get past him? Nope. Well, I do want to attack, but I want to... Move him first. Ah. It's fine, it's fine. Let's get another pikeman up north. No! This has slightly better defense. Yes, it has one defense, which is better than nothing. So, certainly something I'll want. Okay, and then this guy. Attack. Right, right. 
Another thing. Okay. And we'll just take him out real quick. Since you attack before they get to uh, return fire, if you kill them first, you don't take any damage. So that's useful. No! My bowsman! My ranger! I do like that they stab with the arrow. Oh no. Regna, you messed up, you dunce. All right, attack. Ouch. That's another thing, the villages fight back in this game. They did uh, not do that in Advance Wars when they were just, uh, I believe they were just called bases or something. Nice. What? How did this happen? <laughs> Excellent. You've cleared the enemy from the village. You should capture it to secure it before Regna takes it back. Got it. I'm not a freaking fool, so... Needn't, needn't be so condescending there. Oh boy. Okay. Well, we're going to make a little wall of pikemen here. It will be quite difficult. And less damage, but I don't take damage back at least. Hmm. Wait. And. Hmm. I'll save up for a ranger. No. Ouch. There we go, take him out. Nice. Capture. <laughs> ah. Excuse me. Well done! With no villages, the enemy has no income. You'll notice that a captured structure never begins with full health. In fact, it starts with the equivalent of half the capturing unit's health. So if a unit with 40% health captures a village, the village starts with 20% health! Yes, now we should destroy their barracks to completely remove them from this yeah. region. Okay, let's, let, let's do it then. Yes, mm, yes. Right, uh, yes. No, I don't need to reinforce. Oh. Let's just scoop my guy over here. And this guy as a backup. And now we can get a ranger. Come then, fight me. Whoops. No bugger at all. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Capture. 
and oh, I can't fight him from here. So we'll wait here. Move the ranger. Move this ranger. And start shoveling pikemen downwards. And I don't need I don't need to buy anything, so let's not. Yes, good. Hmm. Yeah. Attack. Stab that skeleton. Yeah. Hmm. Not a lot of damage. You know what? That's more what I'm looking for. Oof. A little damage, a little damage, no worries, no worries. Don't even worry about it. I mean, there's not a lot more to do gotta keep moving forward oh no stop that knock it off sheesh reinforce whoops that's the opposite of what I wanted to do I thought it was gonna reinforce the base Oops. That's fine. Jack! Take him out. Really dragging my feet on this. No, my guys. Shoot him. Nice. And gotta hit him. I mean, eh, okay. Feel like I really messed this up. Feel like I should be doing a lot better here. The way that they made it sound. Take him down. Whoops. That's not, no, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, crap. Yeah, there's no way to go back either. Ah, shoot. Ah, dang it. Ah, ding, dang. Dunks. That's what I am. Turn. What? Oof. 
sucks for you, Regna. Shoot him. Get him. Attack. Hey, 6% ain't nothing to sneeze at. Sometimes that can mean the difference between a victory and a loss. Oh, yay. Yeah, but you won't get gold, dummy. Mm, get him. Oof, they got the tiniest little little sliver of health left. That doesn't matter. Here we go. I did it. No! This is not happening. <laughs> Emmerick, we did it. Good work. <gasps> go away. I said go away. What a... It's a go away! Oh, it's you! Yeah. Yeah. Uh... I, um, didn't mean to disturb you. You didn't disturb me. I was lying in wait. Huh. Ah, uh -huh, right. Shut up! Grr. This isn't over! B. I feel like I can do that better than a B. Hmm. Well, I. Uh. Well, I've gotten three stars before, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I'll come back to that later. For now, let's just move on with the story. Whatever. So you won. Who even cares? Ugh. All you did was beat up a few lousy, stinking skeletons! I, I care. Back. And I won't stop until my kingdom is safe. Uh, Enough messing around. I'll crush you! Myself! Ragna has moved deep into this region. She's even got a stronghold. A stronghold is a really important structure that anchors a faction to a region. To win, we can either defeat the Stronghold or Ragnar herself. I understand. I'm joining this fight personally. Look, over there! One of our knights has beaten us here. Knights are strong, fast-moving units! However, they're unable to capture structures. Only infantry and commanders can do that. Knights sound great! Let's get started. Hmm. Hold your horses. It seems this knight is low on health. Uh. Is this something we can do to help? Indeed there is. This is where we... Uh, okay, well, we already did reinforcement. Yeah. You just Yeah, you just go and you get in next to a structure and then you suck up some of the strength <laughs> from the structure. Yes. Yeah. Okie doke. Hold on, what's their crit? So it has to move at least, so it has to move its entire distance. One, two, three, four, five. So it basically has to move to the edge of its path to get the crit. Fine, yeah, I can deal with that. Okay, let's capture. We could use this. And... Zip this guy up here. No! No, they're capturing stuff! It's fine. 
As long as I get that one neutral structure there, I'll still have a much stronger economy. So. As commanders, you and Ragnar are both powerful units on the battlefield. You can easily take down most infantry units and enemy structures single-handedly. Make the most of your strength as a commander without risking your neck. Remember, the team that loses their commander also loses the battle. I won't let you down. Okay, I can do this! So yeah, the commander is kind of like the king in chess, if the king in chess uh, was more useful. <laughs> in chess, is like the, the worst piece, honestly. Okay, I'm safe here. Uh, what's Ragnar's? Okay. I want to be careful not to get in the range of them until you're prepared. Nice. Yeah, we're going to have a very strong economy. I'll wait up there. Then I'll buy... Should I sail for a night? Hmm, I think I should save up for a night. Well... I mean, they only have the swordsman. Yeah, I'm gonna save up for a night. Um, what is your range? There. Okay. Wait. Jeez, I didn't mess that up, did I? Nope. Well, I could have gone a little further. Oh, well. Let's end the turn. Hmm. I expected the skeletons to get closer. Ragnar just recruited a dead dread spear, a Felheim spearman. It would be prudent to check the Spearman's info screen. Uh, okay. Let me direct your attention to the table at the bottom. The table tells us which units the Spearman is especially effective against. Yep. Okay, so I need to hit him with the Swordsman. Hmm. Just... Touch. Yep. You can display how far the selected unit can move. Awareness of the enemy's range is important when positioning your units. I should keep the knight out of reach of this dread spear. Good thinking, my queen. Hmm. On well, that case. I mean, what's her range? Hmm. I mean, it'll it'll hurt their economy enough. It's probably worth it. My village, give that back. No. You won't get it back without a fight. Okay, let me move. Her over here. I'll move him up there to crit. No, he hit me back. How painful. Alright, let's pull out a knight. And, yeah, that guy's outside the dread spear. And then Ragna's gonna try and do some stuff. Love how cute the horses are. They're adorable. Interesting. Hmm. This part of Cherry Stone is more forested than I thought. Yes. We may be able to use this to our advantage. Different terrain types have different advantages and disadvantages. You may have noticed that traveling through a force will slow you down. Now that you mention it, I also noticed that units struggle with mountains. Additionally, some terrain will increase or decrease the defense of a unit. Force will give you a boost in defense, while rivers will make you vulnerable. You can read more about each terrain type by checking its style info. 
I will. Thanks, Emmerich. What we got? Force a slow going, but provide good defense. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to knock down one. Well, I want to get... Hmm. Let's see where... Oh, no. I'm in the range of the Dread Spear, so I want to retreat a little bit. I was hoping to go around, but Ragnar's kind of messing that up for me. Or wait, let's see. How far can this knight go? Oh, pretty far. Um, Let me move this. Wait, actually, I will place her there. And attack. There we go. I mean, not that I needed to, but it just helps. Uh, useless skeletons! If you surrender, we can just end this now. We don't have to keep fighting. Never! Yes, I know that's not how she sounds. Shh. This is how she sounds in my heart. I'm gonna wait. Well... I could probably do some swordsmen. Now they're kind of, kind of useless for the most part. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna save up for another night. Okay, I'm zushing them around there. Uh, wait, what is Regna's range? Yes. So I'll just wait here. Meanwhile, I'm gonna attack the base. Ooh, I probably should have checked that Dread Spear's range first. Whoops. That's ah, fine. Ouch. No, no, I'm out of range. It's fine. Wait. And we'll wait. And they're probably going to destroy that fortress, but that's fine. I'm just going to do another night. And we'll be good. Ooh. A ranger, but it won't matter. I'm going to take it out in this next turn. Oof. That's rough, but I didn't lose it. So it doesn't really matter to me. Um, let, well, actually, let's move you here, then attack. Hey, hey, hey. Yep, gonna take some damage, but it's fine, because we're gonna attack here. And I won! You did it! Phew, that was tough. I lost. That's impossible! Huh. Impossible? You must have cheated! <laughs> you cheated, didn't you? No. No. Uh. It seems pretty difficult to have a reasonable conversation with you, so I'm going to go. Yeah! You'd better run! Whoa. Uh, Lord Valder! Ragna. Quiet, Ragna. Well, maybe not that much. Quiet, Ragna. You disgrace yourself. <laughs> Stand aside and let me fix your mess. <coughs> ah. A little bit of gunk in my throat. Hey, S rank. Nice. So, yeah, I don't know what was up with that. I'll redo that one later. And we're on to four. Lord of the Dead. Hmm. So we meet at last. Queen Mercy of Cherry Stone. My queen, that's Valder. Lord of the Felheim region. Master of the Fell Gauntlet. That's Valder? Oh, Valder. That's Valder? Oh, no. 
Ragnar has power, but lacks discipline. I fall short on neither. <sighs> this is a battle we cannot win. So we retreat, but where do we go? The gloom woods. It's our only option. The gloom woods, but... No, Caesar. <laughs> Does the Queen of Cherry Stone give up her throne so easily? It's okay, Caesar. Let's go. Let Let's start the retreat. We have no choice. Huh? Has word spread? Does everyone know we're leaving? They do. The citizenry is already on the move. They're coming via the West Road, but the Fellheim Legion isn't far behind. We have to get them out of here, fast! Mm? Indeed, we'd best use the wagon to ferry them toward our stronghold. Vehicles like this cover a lot of ground on roads especially. They're the fastest way to reach the front line. I suggest you climb into this one yourself and then order it out towards the villagers. Sure. Loading up. Yes. Now you can move this way to the uh, move. Yep, move it over to the guys. Got it. Mm, drop. Okay, I made it. I'd better get these villagers yes. into the wagon. Yes, you can drop them off near our barracks. Now I'm here. I can look out for enemy troops. Yes, and with the wagon near the barracks, you're able to ferry more units to our side. Alternate the use of the wagon to transport your troops to battle and the villagers to yeah. safety. I will. Thank you, Emmerich. Yep, I'm trying. There we go. Load them up. And then we'll make another wagon. Load them up. Oh, I guess I can't load him up. Wait a minute, hold on. Ah, only ones who would travel by foot, eh? Fine. Waiting. And we'll just run him down. No. The Velheim Legion! I have to protect the villagers. What if we lose one of the groups? Go. As a commander, you're strong enough to handle this first wave on your own. I guess, sure. Oh, wait a minute. Let's wait. And then we'll Load them up. Can I load them both up? No. That's... that's fine. We'll drop them there. And then I will... get another knight. And... start moving more of my guys south. Oh, yeah. Should have checked the range on those guys. Oops. Well, this didn't work out great for me. Oh, dang it. More guys that way. That's fine. Attack. Nice. Okay, and I can still use this. So that's that's good. Load him up. And then get the knight headed out this way. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll drop them right up there. Very well. 
Well done, Queen Mars Mer Mercia. The most of the villagers have made it safely to the pass. Keep going. I mean, that's what I was gonna do if you hadn't said any ding dang thing. I need a ranger. I'm gonna save up for it. My queen. More refugees have arrived on the west road, and others will follow. No! No, don't do that! Okay, let's see. I can get... Wait a minute. Is there a guy in here? Yeah, there is. Well, that's... Okay, I'm going to drop him in there. Hmm. What's his range right now? Barely anything. Um. Well, I'm going to... Nope, that puts him in range. I'm going to wait there. Zoop back down here with the wagon. Ah, come up here and bust this guy up. And then... Come down here and knock his head in. out a ranger um oh yeah I guess I can still move this guy so let's get him let's scoot him along don't do that no knock it off no my way again Do anything to fight back? Ouch. Alright, knock him back. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, really? One dinky skeleton? And what'd you expect, dummy? Feel, I don't know, fired up? My queen. It's your groove, Queen Mercia. You have charged it for the very first time. Grooves are a gift. Commanders like you and I charge them as we battle. You must use your groove to benefit your forces. I want to use it to heal them. Focus your energy and cast a healing aura. It will restore some measure of health to you and any nearby friends and allies. A tactical advantage. When used at the right time, this ability may very well turn the tide of battle. Let's do this. And I'm gonna scoot up here and do that. I won't fail. I meant to scoot up there and do that, but okay. Doesn't really do a lot of good for me. Whoops. Well, I'd be in his range. And his range. Okay, I'm gonna go south with him. And go over with him. And load him up. And uh come over here. We're gonna Make another ranger. Um, 
All right, we'll scoot him over here. And load him up. I'll save you all. More villagers. We'll keep you safe. Wait, what? Oh, right. I'd use the barracks for the rangers. Flip. Oh, that's not good. They've got a knight. Uh. Well, let's, uh. Attack. Brace yourself! Ow. I could do 60 or I could do 85. I'd rather do this, I think. Alright, let's get this guy out of here. I'll get over here. Load him in. Tag this guy, take him out. that guy. And then... I'll put me in his range, but I don't really care too much. I'll be able to take him out. Good. Um... I think they're going to prioritize the bigger target, but let's let's find out if they prioritize the bigger target or the one who's closer. All right, let's uh well, yeah, yeah, we're going to want to bust out a knight. As expected. You're gonna take a little damage, but you're gonna hit him back even harder. Uh oh. This might not go good for me. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, they do prioritize whoever's closer. So I am okay with that. Yeah, let me pop up here so I'm in a better position. guy down south. Uh, nope. There. Attack. Yeah, that's enough to take him out, so. I'm happy with that. Oh, not quite. Yeah, let's, uh, wait. What's his range? Well, I'm probably going to get hit regardless, so let's just go. Hmm. 
I don't want to be pussyfooting around necessarily, but ah, this guy's gonna hit me pretty bad. Oh, I don't be in the Rangers uh, range. Okay, so for now, uh, whoop. for now I'm just gonna pop up here. I'll move this guy over. And then I'm gonna make another wagon, I think. Yeah, that was a good call. Another group of refugees, your majesty. Ugh, yep, that's what I figured. Hate to see it happen. Alright, I'm gonna pop up here and then healing aura. I'll save you all. Healing aura. There we go. <laughs> that was amazing. Can I do that all the time? Only when you have fought enough to charge your groove fully. The charge will slowly build up on its own, but fighting and defeating enemies will accelerate the process. Therefore, if a weakened enemy is nearby, it's sensible to land a finishing blow yourself. The quicker to charge your groove. But remember, we can't afford to lose you, so don't overstretch yourself. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Thanks, Emmerich. Thanks, buddy. Um, I will bring him over here. There's a guy in here, so I gotta take him up in the way. Wait over there. Uh, I will move this down south in case we need to retreat. And then we will bring this up here. Drop the guy off there. And attack him clear the way for my my knight I'm just going to absolutely wreck shop on this ranger Technically, didn't take them all out, I guess. Close enough. I have him wait here. And buy another ranger for safety. That should do it. As what I expected. No, my ranger! Mm, that's... that's okay. I'm pretty sure that brings them into range of my other ranger behind the wall. Ow. Yep, and these guys are coming in. Alright, let's deal with this situation first. Attack. Huh, well, first, let me see if I can yeah, I'll, uh, take him out from behind the wall. Um. Oof, yeah, we're all just in range, so. Nope, I'm gonna attack the other ranger. <laughs> It's more important to remove him from the equation right now. And we'll attack from behind here. Mm, 
Okay. Gotta bring the wagon over here. Uh, wait. Yes, that's the wagon I want to bring over. Whoops. Load. Five. Hundred and five. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's pretty good. I won't hold back. Ouch. Uh, well, I'd rather take out a unit than just fiddle around, so let's go here. And let's make sure the wagon is out of his range. And a guy in there. So we'll bring that... Wait. Wait. And... Yeah, I'll do a pikeman. These are the last of the refugees. Once they're safe, you must escape too. Don't worry, I have a wagon set up for exactly that purpose. Ouch. It's okay, it's okay. I got you, buddy. That was dumb. Why'd you do that? Stupid. <laughs> Raining? This weather. Voltaire must be near. We must hurry. Though it's really harder now. Our ranged ground units won't be able to fire as far in severe weather. Let's do that. I won't fail. <laughs> All right. I'll put this here so that if they try and spawn. That might stop him. Uh, wait, I already have a guy on there. Hold on. Wait. Oh, there goes the audio. And load up. Alright, I'll keep these forces... Well... Let's get him into the trees, at least. I'll get this guy a little closer, so he has better range. A little bit more of you. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna fix the audio, hold on. It should be just a moment. Okay. Mm. Yeah, not a lot going on there, so. End turn. Ah, great. Yeah, they just spawn around you. Valda. Your Highness. Valda. Let you down. <laughs> All right, let's load her up and get her out of here. Wait, and we'll get you over here and drop them off. And actively just gonna make a wall. Ow. 
I don't know, let's just, yeah, no reason not to. Lock them off. And wait. And just in case, let's drop a ranger. My horsey. No, no, my horse. Am tears. Just gonna move that out of the way and get this up in here. Wait, up in here. That was the last of the villagers. Time to get yourself to safety too, Queen Mercia. But I'm on my way. I'm literally trying to stop. You've made it! Well done, my queen. Uh, she escaped! Ragna. Ragna. Follow them. I'll hunt them down and turn them into mincemeat. Sigrid, go with her. Make sure this gets done properly. And you? Felheim needs its master. I trust you to oversee this task. Very well. Victory. I did it! My audio dropped out. Eh. Annoying. Elgato is kind of terrible with audio. Alright. I. Right. Whoa. That was close. We can't rest here, it's not safe. We can't return without reinforcements. Can't we just regroup and... Er, whoops, that was the wrong voice. Valder is a skilled commander, and the gauntlet he wields is an artifact of immense power. To defeat him, we'll have to destroy it. But we haven't the strength to do that alone. So what do we do? We need to head east to Heavensong and seek aid from Empress Tenry. Henry. Your father and the Empress were old friends. If anyone can help us, it's her. That's a long journey. But we have to try. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Hmm? Oh, this guy. Fresh prey. All right, that's where I'm going to leave it. This is just a short little Monday stream. Kind of make up for how I didn't stream over the weekend. I, don't know, I was going through stuff, whatever. None of your business. I just, I just didn't have the energy, to be quite honest. Um, so thanks, everybody, for watching. If you want to catch the beginning of the stream, uh, there's a past broadcast tab, and there's also my YouTube archive that I'm going to put this up on. 
Follow me on YouTube, Twitter, here on Twitch. It's free for you, and it helps out the channel a great deal. I'd really appreciate it. We're only six away from getting to affiliate, so I'd really appreciate it. Yeah. Just, just real chill short stream. So, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope... I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll join me for the next stream on Friday. And if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. Join me Friday, 8 o'clock, uh, pod racer. And then on the weekend, we're going to do more Pokemon. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night.